It won't go away I've got that feeling rushing through my body I know that it is here to stay It's like you're my so what is it like to play on opening day? I don't have any personal experiences to draw on, but I know someone who does. The former Blue Jays superstar, Jose Bautista. He joins us now. Welcome to the program, Jose. Thanks for having me. Well, after playing for the Blue Jays for almost a decade, of course, even hearing about opening day with the Blue Jays, it's got to bring back some nostalgia. So what does opening day mean for the players? Oh, it means, you know, it's, that day has come. You put in a lot of work in the off season and in spring training, and it's the combination of that. And, you know, when you step into the, the long haul of the season, it's 162 games in 180 days. It's going to be a, a marathon, not a sprint. But these guys are, I'm sure, ready, and they have all the energy they need, and they're going to get a boost tonight from, hopefully, a sold-out crowd at Rogerson. And it's definitely special to play at home. We know that, and the pandemic has made that difficult. So how do you think things might change, given the fact that they haven't been able to do it for some time now? Comfort level. I think they're going to be way more comfortable than having to deal with, you know, uh, are we playing in Buffalo? Where are we playing? And, you know, they were able to plan going into the season and have their families there, have a support system. I think it's going to be much comfortable for everybody. When you're comfortable in sports, your confidence goes up. And these guys are already talented enough. You mix those two together, that's when you have uh, magic and great results, and hopefully that's what happens. Do you have a favorite memory from opening day that you can share with us? Um, well, every opening day that I had in Toronto was very special, but as a player, your first one is, is the most memorable one. And I was a member of the Baltimore Orioles, uh, and it was just uh, jaw-dropping for me to be a, a part of a, um, an opening day uh, in the big leagues for the first time. Okay, so let's talk about the new team, the Blue Jays team, and the roster that we've got of young stars. Uh, they have inherited your legacy in a way. So what do you think is in store for the team this year? Well, I know the expectations are high, but if there's a group that can deliver, it's these guys. Uh, I've been watching from afar since, since I stopped playing, and, uh, you know, the talent that these guys have is unmatched. I think they have what it takes. It's a matter of just going out there and executing and coming together as a group pulling for each other and uh, just maximizing on the hot streaks and minimizing the, the cold streaks. So uh, these guys can do it. So I'm excited to watch every day. Are there any specific players that you're really looking out for? Oh, Vladdy, of course. But Bobby Shedd is a, is a close second. And uh, George Springer is an elected player. So I'm excited to see him on the field every day. Uh, I know they made an acquisition with Chapman. That's really exciting. And uh, a few on the mound with Gausman and Kikuchi. So uh, I'm just... Hoping to see a great effort of those guys coming together and uh, day in and day out, uh, just watching them play uh, throughout the summer. So do you still keep in contact with some of the people and players that are in Toronto? Are you, are you talking you to know, them most, on opening day? <laughs> uh, most of the players, you know, that, that I was with are unfortunately not there anymore. Uh, some of these guys were in the minors. So I'll send a message to, to uh, a couple of them today just to wish them good luck and good health. Uh, but I still stay in touch with most of the staff there, the, the ones that are still working with the team. So I know they're all excited, so they can't wait to get going. You know, you were talking about Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and uh, I see this note here from my producer that he's also from the Dominican Republic, so I'm wondering if there's something in the water. Ah, uh, man, there's a <laughs> lot of players from the Dominican Republic, so uh, definitely is kind of similar to what hockey is to Canadians. So we eat, li uh, live, and breathe baseball and uh, it's in our blood so it's our passion and take a lot of pride in it now i'm sure you know one of the most iconic moments that you are remembered for wondering if it's iconic for you too that was of course in 2015 that bat flip we're playing that footage right there uh you know ahead of of that uh three-run homer in the decisive game five of the 2015 american league division series between the blue jays and the rangers so when you see that or hear that, is it something you think about too? Of course, it brings, it brings back great memories. It's a great season, a, an amazing playoff run, the support we had from the fans, and being able to bring that back to the city after 22 years was uh, by far one of the greatest moments in my career. So uh, it's just a, a ton of good memories, and, and I'm glad I, I was able to be a part of that. When are we going to see you back in Toronto? Hopefully soon. Uh, <laughs> if not this summer, hopefully short after. I know that with that pandemic and the travel restrictions, it became difficult. So I haven't been able to come back and visit. 
for a little bit, but I, I can't wait to get back up there, and I hope to do it very soon. And one final question that I've got here. Do you, do you think Vladdy's going to beat your home run record? I certainly hope so. You know, I'm not a big records person, and I think they're all meant to be broken. And uh, I think the fan base deserves great things to cheer for. And if there's a guy that I wanted to, to be broken by, I hope it's Vladdy. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate you setting up the home opener for the Blue Jays. That, again, was superstar Jose Bautista in Tampa, Florida. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay.